Hello, my name is Jessica and I'm with Facebook.com slash Jess Beachbody. I wanted to make a video to go over one of the most popular questions that I get. I get this question all the time. It started in March this year and it's definitely going through these nice warm summer months. Um, the question being, how do I stay on track with my weight loss and fitness plan during, you know, summer vacations, while I'm traveling, at barbecues and get-togethers? So I wanted to make this video to give you some tips on how you can stay on track. I also wanted to give you a little bit of information on a challenge that I'm running for this specific topic. It is called the Dog Days of Summer. This is going to be a 30-day challenge and I'm going to run it through Facebook. I'm going to set up a private accountability page on Facebook with just five to six people so you can get individualized attention for the best results. Now the purpose of the Dog Days of Summer Challenge is to get you back on track with your fitness goals, with your nutrition, and with support and accountability. Those are the three components that will give you amazing results. I will teach you how to stay on track while you're on vacation, while you're traveling, when you go to cookouts and parties. You definitely need to join this challenge if you've gotten off of your game plan this summer. Now, like I said, I have some tips for you to teach you how to make the right choices, to be smart about the decisions you're making, and some things to look out for and to plan ahead. The first is to control what you're eating. Okay, so the very first tip that I tell all of my challengers and that I do myself is to pack healthy snacks. You need to have healthy snacks on you. You don't want to get hungry, you know, and grab for fruit snacks or a bag of chips or a slice of pizza. Have healthy snacks on you so you can curb that craving and fill yourself up. You need to be eating every two and a half to three hours anyway to keep your metabolism running smoothly. So healthy snacks that you could pack in a purse. Um, definitely make sure that they will hold up in your purse or in a bag or backpack. So you could pack individualized packets of almonds, you could pack protein bars, you could pack jerky, um, any types of fruits that you like apples, bananas, it will fill you up enough so you're not grabbing for that unhealthy convenient food. If you're on vacation and you have access to a refrigerator or a cooler, I suggest grocery shopping. Don't depend on going out to eat for every single meal of the day. If you can easily run to the grocery store and grab a few healthy items to make some meals in your hotel room or wherever you're staying. Even if you're traveling and driving, if you could pack a small cooler with some different healthy options that will keep you out of the, you know, convenient junk of the road. For instance, all of the unhealthy gas station food or fast food running through McDonald's, I definitely suggest packing food or grocery shopping once you get to your destination. I suggest packing lots of fruits and veggies. Cook up lots of meat before you go and take it with you. So you could either throw in some bags of frozen chicken into the crock pot to make some pulled chicken to take with, to make lots of different recipes. You could do wraps, you could do salads. Grill up some chicken, grill up some turkey patties. Have different options so you don't necessarily want to eat out constantly because you've got good healthy food waiting for you in your hotel room or in your car. Now my biggest tip for controlling what you're eating while traveling or on vacation is to drink your Shakeology. Be consistent with your Shakeology. It's a meal replacement shake that you drink once a day in place of a meal. If you heard of Shakeology, please contact me and I'll give you more information. But Shakeology will help control your appetite. It will help keep you full longer. It will help reduce cravings. So if you drink your Shakeology for breakfast, it will help you throughout the rest of the day. You're not going to be snacking. You're not going to be craving junk. It is the best option, the best meal of the day, especially when you're setting yourself up in situations outside of your comfort zone. Do something for yourself that will help you get through all of those temptations. Now, with Shakeology, you may be thinking, well, I don't want to take my big old blender with me. I don't have any room in my suitcase, whatnot. I can tell you that I have a challenger in one of my challenges right now who just went to Ireland for work. She took with her her small single serving blender. Really any single serving blender will do. Pack that in your bag. I do this all the time when I travel. So she went off to Ireland with her single serving blender and her Shakeology and was able to make her shakes every single day like she would have from home for breakfast and it kept her on track the entire time she was traveling 
and outside of her comfort zone. And it is the best way to stay on track and get complete nutrition while you're traveling. So that's my number one tip for you to control what you're eating. Now a few other things before going on to the next topic is to control what you're eating if you do have to eat out. If you do have to go to a restaurant or make decisions outside of the food that you have packed, there are a few things that can help you to lower the calories in what you're eating and to make it healthier. Never be afraid to customize what you're ordering. I do this all the time. My husband gives me a hard time for doing it, but I get more or less what I'm needing and it, I'm making smart decisions as I do it. So the first is to order lean meats. Order um, a grilled chicken, order fish if you can, but whatever you do, do not order anything breaded or fried. Lots of excess calories there that you do not need if you're trying to stay on track with your nutrition. Um, if you're ordering a sandwich, consider dropping the bun. That's a lot of excess carbs. If you're ordering salads, don't smother them in dressing. Don't add all the extra candy pecans and croutons. Make smart choices when you're ordering those meals. My next tip for while you're on vacation or while you're traveling is to drink lots of water. You need to stay hydrated. Remember to drink lots and lots of water like you would while you're at home. Stay away from soda. Stay away from alcohol. Alcohol slows your metabolism down. You are going to drink at a restaurant. I suggest drinking water before your meal and during your meal and then ordering something. So you're not drinking, 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 waiting for your meal and then drinking while you eat and then drinking afterwards. I mean, be smart about it. Remember that alcohol is empty calories. Remember how hard you're working to burn those calories every day. If you are gonna drink, choose light options. Um, if you're a beer drinker, I suggest Michelob Ultra or Bud 55. I'm not condoning drinking, I'm just saying if you're going to drink, try and make, make smart choices. Now my final tip is to get your workout in. No excuses. Even when you're traveling, even while you're on vacation, in the hotel room, whatnot, make time to work out. So my first suggestion that I do myself and I suggest to my challengers is to pack your workout DVDs. Now I do all Beachbody workouts. So I have them all on DVD format, which is very, very convenient. Not only can I do them at home whenever I want, but I can take them with me on the go and still get just as good of a workout in while I'm traveling or while I'm on vacation. It's something I never have to worry about. Now I always take my cardio workouts with me so I don't have to take any equipment and I can still get an amazing calorie burn. I do always pack my laptop so I know for sure that I have something to watch those DVDs on. If you're on. staying in a hotel, make sure you check out the hotel gym. Um, if you're on the beach, walk along the beach, run along the beach. Take advantage of all of the surrounding areas. If there's a pool at your hotel, consider doing laps or other aerobic exercises in the water. Another good way to make sure that you're consistent with your workouts and you get them in is to get a workout buddy. Invite them to work out with you. Invite them to join in with what you're doing. This creates support and accountability. You will push them to work out as they're pushing you and it will make you stay accountable even when you're completely outside of your comfort zone. Your workout shoes should be one of the first things that you put in your suitcase and that you never forget to pack. You can get a good workout in in any type of environment as long as you've got some good shoes to wear. While you're on vacation, make sure you're walking as much as possible. If you can walk from your hotel or from wherever you're staying to your destination, I suggest doing that. Walking burns calories. Again, if you're at the beach and you can take a walk or run alongside the beach, I suggest doing that. If you're somewhere where there's good walking trails or hiking, I suggest doing that. And even if you're somewhere like Disney World, don't take the trolleys. Walk as much as you possibly can. I understand that you probably won't go to your, by yourself to these places, that you'll have family and maybe even small children with you, but walk as much as you possibly can. I promise it's good for everyone. I would love to have you in my next Dog Days of Summer Challenge, and I run other challenges monthly, so please feel free to contact me at facebook.com slash justbeachbody or at beachbodyjustlambert at gmail.com. If you're looking for results, my challenges are for you. These are really fun challenges with great groups of people. We always have an awesome time. One of my current challengers who has been in my challenge just for the last two weeks has already lost 14 pounds. This is not uncommon. If you combine complete nutrition with Shakeology, which is what I always suggest, with a fitness program, I can help pair you with a fitness program that will be best for you. 
and accountability and support, which you get from me as being your coach and through the accountability page that I will add you to, you will get amazing results with all three of those components. What you have to be willing to do is commit. Are you up for the challenge? Again, connect with me at facebook.com slash justbeachbody and feel free to email me at beachbodyjustlamber at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you.